Hello everyone, I'm Zach and this is DIY with Best Fiends, the show where you get to learn how to make some cool and crafty stuff without breaking the bank. And today, we're gonna twirl around and around and around and around some really fancy and cool string art featuring one of our favorite undersea fiends, Pearl the Seahorse. Now before we start unspooling this string art, you're only gonna need a few things. A wooden board, blue paint, one and a quarter inch framing nails, a hammer, needle nose pliers, black, blue, and cream embroidery thread, and the pearl dot pattern printout found in the description below. Begin by painting your wooden board with your blue paint and allow it to dry. This will serve as your background for the string art. Next, take your printed out pearl dot pattern and position it on the board where you want your design. Time to get hammering. Hammer a nail through every dot on your pattern. Yes, every single one. The nail should stick out, but feel secure and not wiggle, so about a half an inch deep. Make sure to use your needle nose pliers to place and hold nails in the smaller parts of the pattern. When you're done hammering, go ahead and tear off the dot design before we start wrapping our string. To start with your thread, tie off a starting color on the head of a nail with a double knot and loop the thread from nail to nail. Now this part takes time, so it's a great place to improv and kind of make the art how you want to make it, because there is no wrong way to do it. It's best to use a reference of Pearl, as well as a second printout of the dot printing, so you can kind of follow along with it. Continue using your thread in a crisscrossing fashion to fill an area with more color. Then move on to the other color of thread for different sections. You can also double up on lines that you want to be thicker. Lastly, color the top of the nails to match the color of string underneath. Once you feel like you've reached a point where you're happy with your string art pattern and colors, congrats, you're done. And there you have it, an awesome, personalized, unique string art of Pearl the Seahorse. Now I bet yours looks different than mine and that's okay because this technique is really how you wanna make it. You know, if you wanna add more colors or more thick lines, it's entirely up to you. And if you can think of any other fun crafts that we can make with Best Fiends, let us know in the comments below or on any of our social media. And that's it for this episode of DIY with Best Fiends. Enjoy your one-of-a-kind string art and make sure you snap a photo of it and post it online using the hashtag DIYWBestFiends. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. It's like a little guitar. <laughs>